Hi everyone, Ms. Tui here. Today you'll be having some fun as you learn about the basics of your Ozobot. For today's lesson, you'll need an Ozobot, fully charged and calibrated, color code markers, a pencil, introduction to Ozobot basic training activity sheets, and a color codes chart. After today's lesson, you'll be able to power your Ozobot on and off calibrate your bot, and program your bot with lines and color codes. Get out your Ozobot and let's get started. Ozobot's power button has more functions than just turning your bot on and off. First, locate the power button above Ozobot's left wheel. A single press turns your bot on. You should hear a small click and the lights on your bot should turn on. When your bot is on, a single quick press will turn your bot off. All the lights should turn off. Another function of the power button is to run programs that are flash loaded from Ozobot Blockly. Ozobot Blockly is a web-based block coding editor that you can use to program your Ozobot. After the program has been loaded, a quick double press will tell your bot to run the program. Once the program has been completed, you can double press the power button to run the program again. Can you press the power button quickly one time to turn your bot on? Did you hear the quiet click? Can you press the power button one time again to turn your bot off? Calibrating your bot is very important. It helps Ozobot's sensor know what kind of light is in the space you're working in. You should calibrate your bot at the beginning of each session or any time the light where you are working changes. Time of day and the weather outside could change how Ozobot's sensor see the pages you are working on. Watch me. First, I'll fill in a black dot that is a bit bigger than the bottom of my Ozobot. I'll turn on my Ozobot and place it on my black dot. Then I'll hold down the power button for three to five seconds or until the top LED flash is white and I'll release the power button. My bot will spin, move off the black dot, make a sound and flash green on top. My calibration is successful. Can you calibrate your Ozobot by placing it on a black dot and holding the power button for three to five seconds? Now that your robot is calibrated, are you ready to become a robot programmer? You'll start with line following. The line following sensors on the bottom of your Ozobot allows it to follow lines. I'll find start one on my activity sheets. Place my Ozobot on start one and watch as it travels along the straight line, the corner and the curve. Next, I'll fill in the line beginning at start two with black marker. These are guidelines to help you know how wide the line should be. I'll place my bot on start two and watch again as it travels along the straight line, the corner and the curve. A hint about corners. A 90 degree corner or a square corner is Ozobot's favorite. If a corner is less than 45 degrees, Ozobot might have trouble continuing on the line. Find start one on your activity sheets. Place your Ozobot on start one and watch as it travels along the straight line, the corner and the curve. Then fill in the line beginning at start two with black marker and watch your bot travel along the straight line, the corner and the curve. Next, you'll see what happens when Ozobot goes over a line that is green, red, or blue. I'll find start three on my activity sheet. Notice there are letters next to certain segments of line. The first segment has BK next to it. I'll use black to fill in this segment. The next segment has G next to it. I'll use green to fill in this segment. For the B segment, I'll use blue, and for the R segment, I'll use red. Also, you'll notice two square blocks at the end of the line. 
One has a B, which I'll fill in blue, and one has G. I'll make that one green. Once my line is complete with all the colors, I'll watch the LED light on the top of my bot as it goes along the line. When Ozobot is following a black line, the top LED is teal. Otherwise, the top LED should be the same color as the line. Can you fill in each segment of the line with the appropriate color? Also fill in the two blocks at the end of the line with green and blue. Then observe your bot as it travels along the line. You can program your bot to do much more than just change the color of the top LED. What do you want your bot to do? Go super fast, spin like a tornado, zigzag forward or backward? You can do all of those things by programming your Ozobot with color codes. A color code is a group of colored blocks found along a black line that instruct Ozobot to perform certain actions. Did you notice that your Ozobot did a little dance at the end of the last line? That is because the green and blue blocks you added at the end of the line are a color code. Your bot is programmed to do a little dance when it sees those two colors together at the end of a line. Note that for Ozobot to read a color code correctly, there needs to be at least an inch of straight black line before the code without any codes or intersections. Most codes need at least an inch after the code too, but some codes need up to two and a half inches of straight black line after the code to perform the code properly and continue line following. Just a few more tips about color codes. Color blocks should be about the same size. Blocks should not overlap. Blocks should not have any white spaces in between. Color blocks should not be too dark. The first color codes you'll work with today are the same backward and forward. These are called symmetric color codes. No matter which direction the bot is traveling when it reads the code, the action of the bot is the same. On page two of the activity sheets, you'll see the symmetric codes at the top of the page. I'll fill in the three boxes in the top according to the color key, B, G, B, which is blue, green, blue. The next line down has three boxes for another color code, which all fill in blue, red, blue. The third line has three boxes for color codes, red, black, red. I'll fill in these three color codes. Once the color codes are complete, I'll fill in the line that connects them with black marker. Then I'll place my bot anywhere on the black line and watch what these three color codes program my bot to do. Then I'll write on the blank next to the lines what actions my bot did after passing the color code. Can you fill in each of the color codes with the colors from the color code key? Fill in the lines connecting the color codes with black marker. Then place your bot on the black line and watch your bot. What did the color code program your bot to do? Fill in the blank next to the line. Asymmetric color codes are codes that program the bot to perform different actions when read from different directions. Look at the bottom of your page under asymmetric codes. You'll see spaces for three more color codes on a black line. The first code is blue, green, red. This code is called Nitro Boost, and it programs your Ozobot to go very fast for three seconds. If the bot is traveling over the color code in the opposite direction, it will read the code as red, green, blue, which is a different color code. 
The code red, green, blue is called short, super slow, which programs your bot to go very slow for three seconds. I'll fill in the color codes according to the color key and complete the line that connects the color codes with black marker. Then I'll run my Ozobot from start. Observe the differences in the actions of my bot as it travels a different direction over each code. Can you fill in the color codes using the color key and complete the line that connects the color codes with black marker? Place your bot on start and watch the actions of your bot as it travels a different direction over each code. Then find the color codes on a color code chart and fill in the missing names of the color codes. You have programmed your Ozobot for the first time with color codes. Well done. You're now a robot programmer. Make sure you have completed this lesson by answering these questions. What is a color code? Did you fill in the black dot and calibrate your bot successfully? Did you complete the lines from start one, start two, and start three? Did you fill in the symmetric codes and write the bot's action on the blank? Did you fill in the asymmetric codes and notice the difference in actions of your bot? Looking for more? On a blank sheet of paper, draw large shapes and fill in the lines with black marker and color codes to program your bot. Practice drawing lines of all colors and see how your bot responds to each color. Come back again soon for our next lesson.